Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to repeat rows and columns for every page that you print from a worksheet in Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So what I've got here is a bunch of salesman data or data on salesman and uh, I repeated it just so it would fill a few different pages. Now if you had a database like this and you want to go ahead and print it, it would look like this. So let's go to the Office button, which could be File, Print, Print Preview. Now I'm zoomed in here, so it's a little easier to see. You see on the first page, we can see that this is the ID number, last name, first name, job, email, and phone number. But when we go to all the other pages, we don't have headings anymore. So we don't have a header row there. Now for this particular data set, it may be relatively easy to figure out what is what. But if your data set or database contains a lot more numbers, say you have sales data for four quarters or eight quarters or 12 quarters for your salesman, then it's going to be uh, very difficult to figure out what column is what. So the way we fix that is to repeat this row header on every page. So I'm gonna close this. And now let's go ahead and repeat the row header. Now, if you're in a previous version of Excel, you need to go to File, Page Setup, and from there, um, you'll see where we need to go in a second. So File, Page Setup, if you're in a previous version of Excel. If you're in Excel 2007, like I am, go ahead and go to the Page Layout tab. Page Layout tab. And within the Page Setup box, click Print Titles right here. When you do that, you will see this window. And this is exactly what shows up if you go to File, Page, Setup in a previous version of Excel. Just make sure once there, you go to the Sheet tab. On this tab, you're going to have a section called Print Titles. It gives you an option to repeat rows or also repeat columns. So if our data was organized into rows instead of columns, and we had headers in column A, you may want to repeat column A in every single page. But for now, we want to repeat a row. So what I'm going to do is click in this box and go ahead and click this little button right here. You don't have to do it, but I think it makes it a little easier. So click within the box, rows to repeat at top, click this button. See the cursor is now a black arrow facing right. Select any row. You don't have to select a particular cell. This selects the entire row no matter what. Or if you want to repeat more than one row at the top, say my header row had two or three or four rows of data, what you would do is select one row, so click one row, and then drag the mouse cursor down. And this would repeat the first four rows on every page. So it would repeat these rows for every page. You know it's the first four, four rows because, though it's probably hard to see here, this guy right here says dollar sign one colon dollar sign four, row one to row four. To just select one row, simply click one row. Select multiple rows, click one row, hold it, drag your mouse down, select multiple rows. We want to repeat the first row only, so I'm going to click the first row. I'm going to go back and click this little button, or you could hit the Enter key. And we see now that rows to repeat at top says dollar sign one colon dollar sign one. That means row one to one. So if you need to do columns, it would be the same thing. Put your cursor in the column to repeat at left box, click the button, and select the desired column. If you want to select more than one column, simply click in the column, hold and drag to the right. And you can repeat multiple columns on every page. But like I said, we're going to do rows, so I'm going to hit the escape key and then delete this. All right. Now we've got rows to repeat at the top. So when you're done with that, simply click OK. And let's go ahead and view the print preview. Now you could have done print preview from that page, so I'll just show you because it's easier. When you're on this page, at the very bottom in the middle button, you have a print preview button. So click that. And so now we have the row header, so we know ID, first name, last name, job, etc. But let's check out the other pages. Oh my gosh, there we go. So on every page, 
we know exactly what is in each column. So that's how you repeat rows at the top of the page. And like I showed you, you can repeat columns just as easily if your data goes from left to right instead of up to down. So that's pretty much all there is to repeating rows and columns at the top. If you want to remove this function, so you don't want to repeat the rows anymore when you print, simply click the Print Titles button or go back to File Page Setup, go to the Sheet tab, and delete this. Once you've deleted it, click OK, and the rows will no longer repeat. So that's really all there is to repeating rows and columns in Excel. And if you'd like to get this worksheet, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.